Well, just hours after the chief's announcement, a jury reached a verdict in one of APD's most high-profile officer-involved shootings, and this one is costing the city and the officer who fired the shot big time, a total of more than $10 million. News 13's Kayla Ayers is live at District Court with more. Kayla. Dean, after more than one full day of deliberations, jurors reached a unanimous decision. A $7.6 million judgment against the city of Albuquerque, a $2.7 million judgment against Detective Brett Lampiris Tremba. The civil lawsuit centered around the shooting death of Kenneth Ellis III, an Iraq war veteran with PTSD who put a gun to his head after a traffic stop in a nine-minute standoff with police in January 2010. Detective Lampiris Tremba shot and killed Ellis, an act the judge in this case ruled excessive use of force before the trial started. A big part of what jury members had to decide, damages that will be paid to Ellis's son. Many members of the Ellis family were in attendance and burst into tears when the verdict was read. My brother's looking down on us and he's been, he's been with us this whole time and we truly believe, we truly believe that this was an amazing justice for our family and, and for my brother. City attorneys and members of APD left the courtroom as soon as court adjourned and were not available for comment. The jury also decided on APD's role and a second officer's role in all of this. We'll have more on that on News 13 at 10. Dean, back to you. Kayla, thank you. The Ellis family says the damages will go to Kenneth Ellis's son, who was just four years old when his father was shot and killed. Well, news of the massive judgment and the chief's retirement comes as a victory for APD's biggest critics, the families of some of the men shot and killed by APD officers in recent years. The chief has been the target of numerous rallies, protests, and city council public comment sessions with angry families and the public calling for a complete overhaul of APD and for the chief to step down. Often among them was Ken Ellis. His son was the subject of that civil trial that ended today with the massive judgment against the city and the officer who fired that shot. Now, we spoke with Ellis just hours before the verdict came down. I would hope that, uh, that the next chief of police that we get in there has some, uh, some integrity and some ethics and, and will uh, bring uh, the police department up to the standard that it needs to be. Be sure to stay with KRQE News 13 for continuing coverage of the chief's retirement announcement and today's verdict in the APD shooting trial. We'll have much more on both stories tonight on News 13 at 10 and on our website, krqe.com.